Here's proof when precision is key. Be confident with exclusive vertical drop technology. The fastest way to clearance is a straight line down, providing longer arrow support and total clearance for perfect flight. The Trophy Ridge HX and HXL arrow rests. Unmatched containment, unmatched clearance, only at Trophy Ridge. This is one week you don't want to miss. Blake's headed to Illinois and Slade's headed back to Missouri. Rack bucks going down. It's going to be an all-out showdown with me and my man Blake Duvall, the legend Blake Duvall. Same spot. Man, I sure hope someday I can shoot big bucks like the hunting land man himself, Slade Priest. That deer ain't going to die. That's how you get this. You got That's in the line, baby. It's that time of the year where all whitetail hunters want to be in the woods. The rut is in full swing. Blake's headed up to his new farm in Illinois. Slade's headed back to Indian Hill in Missouri where he was unsuccessful in early season. And after seeing some trail cam pictures from both of these properties, I'm a little bit jealous that I'm not going with them. If you remember our first hunt this year from Missouri, Ryan was on a good buck we called Butterfly. He was on him every night but couldn't quite seal the deal. Well, there's plenty of giants still left here up at Indian Hill, and me and the Pines will be after him this week. It's going to be an all-out showdown with me and my man Blake Duvall, the legend Blake Duvall. His farm is in Illinois. It's a new farm to him. He just started hunting, so he's got some last-minute scouting to do. Let's get it going, boys. We're going to pull the cards on some of our wild game cameras to try to see what's going on. You know, this is a new farm. Best way to learn it, let the cameras do the work. Maybe the camera can tell us where some of these bucks are hiding. Out. Our wild game trail cameras are going to have to tell us what these deer are doing. We have a big nine point on camera, so we hope to get on him. But there is another gnarly buck. He's not going to score a lot, but we're iffy on his age. If he's a young deer, four or less, we want to let him go and see what happens. Uh, we don't have any history with him because it's a new farm. So it's going to be a, an encounter call. You know, once we see him in the tree stand, we'll make a call on him then. But, all I can say is I hope Slade's on his A game this week. If not, I may be filling my tag first. Our main man, Joe Ogden, up at Indian Hill, he's been saving a spot that he calls the Mountain Man Stand. And I'm telling you right now, it is in the honey hole. It's way back up on a ridge, tucked in the timber. Perfect spot for the rut. So Slade's headed in early. He's gonna sit all day. Let's see what he can do the first morning. Just breaking daylight. It's November the 6th in the Midwest. The rut ought to be rocking, so we're gonna take these battle bones. See if we can make something happen. Well, it's barely breaking daylight on the first morning of our hunt. Where our blood's pumping, man. We're ready to go. We're seeing some does. We're pumped up about the hunt. And about that time, it's getting slow mid-morning. Pines gives me an old. I look coming down a ridge, and here comes a shooter. There's a big buck right here to my left. See what that doe was at. All right, you can turn. Get him there. You can turn, he's not moving. He's looking down the hill.
Man, that sucks. Awesome encounter, but it really does suck when you get one that close and you can't get him to stop. That old boy had one thing on his mind and that was definitely not another buck. He was looking for does. My question is, what were y'all doing up in the tree to not see this deer until he was 25 yards away? Sounds to me like it was a rookie mistake. People's been asking just how tough is this plain old field locker? Well, I'll tell you, it's about as tough as it gets. Almost tough as me. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. This new trophy tape from Wild Game Innovation is the best thing since sliced bread, especially for old folks like me that can't remember anything. What's your score, Uncle Rusty? 156, and the tape don't lie. Trained Assassins is brought to you by Trophy Ridge. Precision is in our blood. Bear Archery. Walk among legends. Wild Game Innovations. Nutrition, attraction, and action. Bill Jordan's Realtree. Family, friends, and the outdoors. Tinks. America's number one buck lure. Dead Dumb Wind. Real science, real results. Tenzing. Go further, hunt longer. And by Scentlock. Proven deadly. It's pretty awesome to just get to see a deer like that. First afternoon we were in there, he was where we thought he was gonna be, but you know what, he was with the doe, had his mind made up, that's what he was gonna do, and I can't say that I blame him, so we're gonna play it safe, not educate him, and we'll be right back in this honey hole tomorrow, and hopefully, before the week's out, we can get an arrow in that big boy. Pretty spot down there, I mean, it's just one of them spots where it feels like you don't know what may come by. A boner may come running by us this morning and we hadn't had any pictures of it. It's just one of them spots that connects a couple big pieces of wood. Who knows, we could be back and we may see Sasquatch this morning. Ought to be a good morning though. Nice and cool.
guys were shooting and I jumped past him. That's part of it, that's a chance we take, you know. He certainly wasn't gonna get any bigger if I shot him, so. He is what it is. I'm starting to think old Duvall might be off his rocker a little bit. But being that it's his own farm, I understand him wanting to see what this deer would do the next year. But I believe I would have had to run one through him, or at least try to. You ever wonder how I call in so many big deer? Flexed on battle bones. That's what I'm talking about. Trained Assassins is brought to you by United Country Real Estate and UC Hunting Properties. Stand on your investment. React Technology by Trophy Ridge. Bear X Crossbows, a new breed of bear. Flexstone Game Calls, nature designed, Flexstone engineered. True Fire, for professionals, for everyone. Ameristep, quality hunting from the ground up. And by Evolved Harvest, building better wildlife. Well, we're headed into the second day of the hunt, and Slade's going to a jam up spot where Jack Lindsay killed opening week of season in Missouri. There's been a lot of deer activity back in the area, and Slade should be in for a heck of an evening. We're getting in here kind of late. We'll get down here. It's the best of both worlds. It's kind of a pinch point and food, so see what happens. I promise you, we hunt on our property. Well, we just gotta sit down. Our wind's acting a little swirly, but we in a good spot. We got our scent lock on and we ought to be good. We're actually hunting a staging area, you know, but maybe they'll come in here and eat some of these greens. Headed right there to that standing corn, so. But in all reality, we're from Mississippi, and we have no idea about this Midwest hunting, but I've seen some people on TV make this work before. I didn't 
raising these top right there. And I, I said he was 40. I should have raised him, but he was 37. And I put it in the pocket of my 40, and he just... <laughs> It's a little bit high. How high? Colton says better than you think. Did you better get? Better than I think. That was the angle. That's the most important thing. A little, little quarter in the way. Let's go watch some big. What do you do when you when you ran off? Scattered tail. Hard tail. Yeah. Could be long, dude. All right. Anyway, let's roll. That's him. Let's flip brow. Let's flip Yes, it is. Look. Yeah. Go, on, baby. Let that arrow land in there. <laughs> Oh, no, don't watch the knot. It goes like this, boom. I think, Ryan, yeah, right. you may be right. I think you're right. I'm always right. I'm Kevin Fine. <laughs> you are right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did we get to this? Did we get to this? Uh, That's on the lawn, baby. The, the leg's forward, so so it's actually forward. You see what I'm saying? I don't see that. He's, he's falling. Yeah, I think he's dead, man. Ooh. What do you think, Chad? I think I'm going to get the stakes off the grill. <laughs> what do you think, Chad? <laughs> I can tell Slade isn't very happy with the shot, but from my eyes, it doesn't look that bad. Uh, it's just gonna be a long night watching the video over and over again, trying to pinpoint exactly where he hit him. I guess now the only thing that you can do is try to get some sleep and then get up in the morning and go try to trail this deer. If I'd had the Halo XRT6 back in my day, it wouldn't be a deer left in this country. Closed captioning brought to you by Hunter Safety Systems Lifeline. This segment of Trained Assassins is brought to you by Orca coolers. Wherever you take it, it can take it. I can tell Slade isn't very happy with the shot, but from my eyes, it doesn't look that bad. Uh, it's just gonna be a long night watching the video over and over again, trying to pinpoint exactly where he hit him. All jokes aside, I've had marginal hits and I've had sleepless nights. But after watching this footage, I do believe they got a real good chance of finding this deer the next day. I ain't gonna find no blood, man. We don't want hair, man. It was to about right here, so. 19 inches. Yeah. Right there, your foot, right there. Oh. He got it. Yeah, he got it. Look at the white. He's looking. Good so far. Yeah. What you think, Joe? I think we need to find more blood before we move any further. Good, looking good so far. A lot more blood. Than that. And that's, I don't think he just stopped bleeding that fast. I think mm -hmm. he was off. Of it. Where's the last at where he is? It's on his left side. So. He's not on this side. I see him right there, boy. Keep down. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Thank you. No more safety. No more safety. Yes. Lower than you thought. Hey. Give me a hug, Joe Ogden. Dude, thank you. Oh, God, man. Put your hands on him. Look at that. He was dead for y'all to see him. Oh, my God. Dude. 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 I'm so freaking pumped. Thank you, Lord. Dude, why do people not freaking bow hunt? I don't know. Oh, my God. This is the best deal ever. You can turn around here. Look at this. 
Oh, oh, oh. Thing, that dude. is a toad. Big old pretty thing. Big split brows. I put you in here just for this deer. My initial reaction in the tree was no way. And here he is. 75 yards from the last place we saw him. Maybe, maybe less. Man. Last night, Ryan and Blake, we sent him the video and, and they were, you know, Blake, Ryan was like, we're gonna find him, no problem. Blake was kind of iffy, you know, me and him were always kind of iffy. And of course, Craig, I guess he didn't care. He didn't respond back. That's a pretty buck, man. That's a pretty, pretty buck. Thank you, man. Hey, thank you for helping. The pines. Dude, that is a freaking hammer. Well, Bigger so than we thought. Oh, yeah. He just uh, got a heck of a frame, man. That was our dance this morning. Dude, that is a hammer. Freaking Look toad. at his body. <laughs> I gotta give it to you, Slade. That is one heck of a deer. You know, it's always great when one of your buddies kills a deer, but when they kill the best deer of their life, that's something special. You know, that don't happen a lot, but I hope it's many more biggest deer of your life to come, buddy. Congrats, fine deer. And uh, I may be a little bit jealous. That's a hammer. Man, I sure hope someday I can shoot big bucks like the hunting land man himself, Slade Priest. White sunglasses and all. Victory, baby. Thank you, good Lord. Many blessings we don't deserve.